Good morning and welcome back to yet another shop update video. It is Monday on June 29th and today, today we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about one, what's going on in the shop. We'll do a little walk around for that. And then two, I'll take you guys over to the, the, uh, the, uh, 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 the new Oia Bridge Mill and we'll talk about a few things over there. To begin, over on the DMU 210s, we're still finishing up those bin tools that I've been posting about recently. Those will be done this week and then we have some more coming in. So those machines will be busy for a while working on the bin tools. Over on the DMU 85s, one located here and one located right behind the camera, we are processing our production job, which consists of 20 castings per month, uh, multiple setups, and uh, that keeps those machines busy. And the customer has recently started ramping up production, so that's helping us out because these machines can stay busy all the time, and that frees up my time to work on more social media stuff and sales and all that good stuff, right? Let's take a walk over in the other bay because I hear a truck and I think they're delivering a block for the Aweea. We're taking it down off the truck right now. Hey Todd, what is that weigh? 16,000. 16,000 pounds. So this block is already roughed out down to one mil, positive one mil stock. And we're just gonna finish it here on the Awea. So this block is 96 inches long, which will not be a problem for this machine because we have 157 inches of travel, which is huge. Um, we're still waiting, we're still waiting on the final post from Hyper Mill. So we're not quite there yet, but we're hoping to get that done today and then we can start cutting tomorrow. So the install on this machine took a little bit longer than we originally planned and that was due to COVID-19. Also, we had a little bit of an oopsie when installing the machine because we filled up the coolant tank without cleaning it, cleaning it out properly from the factory. And what happened was there was some leftover oil residue in the tank and um, after letting the coolant sit for a few weeks while they were installing the machine, it happened to grow a bunch of bacteria and it smelled really freaking bad. So the workaround to that was, we put a cleaner through the coolant and a biocide, pumped it out, cleaned out the tanks, and then we purchased these um, coolant coalescers, which circulate the coolant for one, and then two, there's a, bit of, there's a filter in here and this pulls out and traps all the oil, all the, the whey oil, and just everything that the the machine drips right and when you get oil in your coolant that's what the bacteria feeds off of so if you keep up on that and you keep that oil out of the coolant it's going to last a lot longer and you won't get that nasty smell once we get that block set up on the Awea, i'll take some more video and show you guys more in depth of what we're doing i know you wanted to see that machine a lot of you a lot of you've been waiting for that so that's all i have for today uh, don't forget to like and share, and I'll see you soon. Let's go check in on Zach. See what he's doing. Hey Zach, what's up? What do you what do you think about CNC machining? Oh you know it's it's real great. <laughs> you gotta do the rocky thing. Hey you know man, I be on the CNC machine, it's you know it's, it's all I know. You know? I tell hey, say, hey yo Adrian! You no, know, I don't I don't know nothing but CNC, you know? <laughs> 